Uh, hello, people. Um. <coughs> uh, hi, hi, hi. <laughs> Beautiful we, sky and stars tonight. We we thought and we would full do moon. Yeah, very very nice full moon tonight. We, we thought we would do an episode because the Complex Two album is coming out. He really likes the Complex Two, and uh, you know, just different other stuff like uh, Joey. Uh, Joey's getting out of jail, so we thought, you know, do that kind of stuff. Um, so, we conducted an eight-question interview. And, uh, let's get on with it. So, uh, you're looking better. You're looking better. Thank you. Clean shaven. I feel good about myself. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how have you been coping with, uh, Franny's death? Uh, well, so far, so good. Uh, I did receive the insurance money, and that seemed to help a lot. <laughs> yeah. And because I well, it that. was about 800 grand, <laughs> but they took a lot out in taxes. So, you know, that hurt. I mean, come on. You know, so I, I, I think I yielded about five, 550, 600 K, whatever it was. It was... But it was nice. Good. It was enough to get a nice vacation to Tahiti <clears throat> and to a couple other uh, tropical islands. So I went. I went on vacation, and that gave me time to count the money because that's a lot. It's a lot of bills to count, and uh, you know, I'm not so that good of a counter. So, but I counted. You know, I had a lot of tens. So I like 10, 20, <laughs> 30, 40. And when you get to 550,000, that's a lot of counting. And then, of course, I had to double check and quadruple check myself. Um. So, and that, that helped with the vacations and the money. That really helped me to get over Franny's death. Mm -hmm. yeah, although it was tragic. Money makes you feel good. And she burned alive. And it was that money was not like a consolation prize of any sort, but it was just really nice to have. It would have been nice to have it while I was alive. Uh, but to be honest, if I had that kind of money, I might have been been tempted to pay to have her killed because <laughs> she was a real pain in the ass. I gotta say that. But you know, and it takes a lot of money to have that done. To you know, boom. <laughs> but no, strike. I am only joking about that. Believe me, Tommy is not any sort of murderer by any stretch. <laughs> but uh, sure. try to be an honest man. And so uh, I I was on vacation, and and that seemed to really put. Um, Did you get any sort of special treatment? Put Franny right out of my mind. Uh, uh, how how did it besides the money well, and the vacation? As I. Think about the things in the way she died uh, as she crashed through the guardrails okay. and plummeted right. down 100 feet to her death even, in a even fiery crash. The giblets And then burning alive. Oh, going all back to the Thanksgiving giblet story. <laughs> that whole thing was just extremely tragic and it was just terrible. Yeah, terrible. So, but, yeah. Uh, being on vacation in Tropical Island, and the dancing girls didn't seem to hurt at all. You know? <laughs> and they seemed to like the drinks I was buying for them. And they reciprocated with, um, like, kissing and other things. I don't want to talk about that here. But uh, maybe right. on a private text chat or something, we can talk about that. It helps you. It helps you. It was like a stress reliever, uh, like a counseling therapy session. Yes. Okay. With the women and the drinking and the vacationing and also the money. Really mm -hmm. seemed to help. Money really helped. Really <clears throat> helped. Okay. Because it was a terrible thing the way she died. Uh, what a loss. So, what have you been doing uh, besides the, like, the Franny thing and in between the vacation and stuff and this, and this interview? I've, <laughs> I've been watching a lot of YouTube. Yep. And um, I see the up and coming videos <clears throat> of the Complex Two uh, band. They're really good. Well, wait, I wait. Save that. Them. Save that for later. 
Say that for later. Well, let's talk about that later. Then. But uh, yeah, you're but, in charge. You're but, the interviewer. But Complex I'm, Two is is good, isn't it? They're very good. They're is that your favorite band? Oh yes. Aside from the Beatles, now we talked about that once, you know. Yeah. <laughs> they're right up there with them. Yeah. Only there's two of them, and of course there were four Beatles, five if you count Pete Best, or, you know, or George Martin. Yeah, yeah but he, we was, don't he was count. He was. Brian Epstein was never a Beatle. He was just a manager of the Beatle. Mm. Plural. Yeah. But, uh, so just what have you been, besides YouTube and stuff, have you been doing anything else? Well, um, I've been practicing, um, um, uh. I, with my um, searching on the Google, that's what I practice with. Have you been looking any girls up? No. On dating websites or anything? Uh, oh, dating websites, yes. <laughs> it seems Wait. that when you have a lot of money to spare, girls seem to like that. <laughs> they seem to like it. Um, it really helps on the <clears throat> dating thing, so... Uh, yeah, I recommend guys if you have money, always tell them because it will help you get the dates. And guys without money, it's not a bad idea to fib about having it. So just a little white lie. I'm not saying you know, don't do anything crazy, but it really helps. Right, right, right. If if you're, uh, especially the money thing, and if it can help you get a date, well, why would that hurt anything? Pick her up in it. Pick her up in a, in a helicopter. Pick her up. Act like and you're rich. Hit, and Only on the first date. Treat her nice. And it reminds me, you can pick your friends and you can pick your nose. But you can't pick your friend's noses. Well, hey, you're my friend. Can I pick No, no. All right. No, see what I mean? Only, only that's on what the screen I'm saying. we're friends. Yeah, it doesn't work out like that. Anyway, so uh, how's how's BOA treating you? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't. They're doing. I'm, to... I'm. That's a good supplementary income to add to all of all of the. Um, all of the benefit, the death benefit. Yeah. What about proceeds. what about your contract? Uh, they're treating you well with money, but do you like the, to do your work? The reality TV kind of stuff, like as this interview, like. They they done the the part where uh, open your mouth, like your your chip tooth right there. Oh, they did the part of that. With the chip tooth. They did. Uh, I the, was trying. I got trying to use some of that money for dental work, but they pretty and, much my dentist. Uh, right, right. Uh, Whenever uh, he, he tries to fix something and then he chips something out. He does something else wrong. So. I don't. I don't. <laughs> he spent a lot of time in Argentina. He doesn't have time for dental <laughs> stuff. I don't think he has time though. So, you know, I don't care because I... I don't think I, he has an actual license to. As I said once before, my teeth were much worse than this. This is a major improvement, and I'm happy with them. I'm very happy. I can I can mm -hmm. chew with them. He only had two front teeth, the top ones. I can Kinda chew like food. I like the spacing because uh, I, I don't get food stuck in between the teeth this, this way. So it really has its benefit, and... Listen, is the glass half full or half empty? Who knows? You have to look at the right side of everything. Anyway, uh, so what's going on with Joey? Uh, Joey, I think uh, Joey, as far as I know, is still in jail. He's serving five to eight or something, I don't know, for breaking and entering and resisting arrest and public destruction of property. <laughs> And several other charges that. Yeah, wait, wait. If they if they haven't seen our other interviews, uh, tell tell us the story again. Okay, so I forget about the first one, the last, but the second let let's just clarify. Last April or May, Joey was hungry, and so he drove. <laughs> As always, he drove his uh, Volkswagen Jetta through the front store. Sure. Front window of a deli bakery, and because he was hungry, he began eating potato chips and drinking root beer, 
or beer. I don't know what kind of beer it was. And uh, as he sat parked in the front of the store, inside the store, through the window in, in the store, and eating and drinking, uh, I think, I believe that's like several minutes later after the alarm system alerted the police, they came, arrested him, took him away. But he wasn't going that easy. He, right, sta right. He, no, never. he stayed in the car. Yeah. That's You're just classic Joey. Classic Joey. Joey's always classic. Joey took off. He and then there was uh it was a resisting arrest charge because he ran. He tried to outrun the police. And then he became frustrated. It was a it was a high speed uh high speed high speed chase. chase. High speed chase. And I just like the way it's uh, high speed chase, high speed chase. <laughs> That got a ring to it, you know. Complex Two should sing a song about that. I speak I can't, I can't sing uh, as good. It's the most interesting thing in whole human race. I speak case. Not bad. Huh? I think Complex Two. If they're watching this, uh, Italian Scorpion is dad. I think. You guys sh should take that lyric, and you should write it down, uh, pop out a another one of your <sighs> beautiful and amazing songs, and um, you should do that. Uh, so, uh, yeah. uh, we'll, we'll so as the story goes, oh. now Joey, uh, during the chase, became frustrated and drove through the police front doors, because he thought, well, okay. If I'm caught, then here you go. You can have me. Right, right, right. So, <laughs> but, but, but he didn't know. I think he has two separate charges <laughs> of the destruction. What, what he, of what, two different public buildings. Right, right. But what, what, didn't he drive into a mall or something? I, well, that was years ago. He's, he served his time for that. But what he doesn't know is the, the logic about if you want me, you got to come and get me. And he what he doesn't know is that if if he does more stuff like that, he'll get more years. You'll get more time on uh, his arrest. I think he's well aware, and he's been involved with the legal system for several times now, and so yeah. he's becoming very astute with all of the yeah. legalities of. Uh, the penal system. But <laughs> how he's penalized. Um, Not to be confused with anything else penal. <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> I think I. Person probably changed Joey for one thing. Who knows how he'll come out in the end? I, you know, you never know with him. Earrings, shave head, you know, something, something crazy like that. Um, His dad turned out pretty good. I mean, right before he died, he was pretty nice. But he went through his own living hell during his lifetime, too. Wait, Joey? Joey's dad? Joey's dad, yeah. Aren't you his dad? Am I? No, I'm a stepdad, I thought. I will only... <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I don't think I was his biological dad, but I, you know. You don't know about Tommy doesn't kids. know a lot about that. You don't know about your kids. I, what am I do? I look like I study a family tree. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you should know about this. I don't quite remember. <laughs> How are you dad? Wait, are you Maybe even I a dad? Am. Do you even know if you're dad? Or are you just a stepdad? What? Hold on a minute. Let me ask. Franny! Fran oh, my God. That's why she's dead. Oh. oh, my God. I think I need another vacation. Some more remember, girls. remember. Some more girls. Spend some more of that money. <laughs> remember. Make me feel better. Do you remember uh -huh. what uh, what Complex 2 said about that? Oh, wait, Complex I, I 2. One, I, wait, I have one of their lyrics. Let me uh, just try and get that out um, for the, the Franny Died song. Because I, I wrote their lyrics down. Just Complex 2 wrote a very nice song about it. Very nice song. It was like a memorial to Franny. It was very good. Reached number, uh, it was a number one hit. Uh, like, the date came out, it was very crazy. 
Anyway, so, uh... Aw, oh, there it is. Mm. Uh, the, the lyrics are... It's heartwarming. Thanksgiving time, the day that she died. We won't, <laughs> we won't miss her, but no. that is all right. Right. We have to get over it. You have, <laughs> right. can't just let, it's a living hell if you think about it every day. Right. Anyway. That's how we got through it. This, the song helped. Okay. Um, she drove off a cliff and then she fried. She is stubborn and, <laughs> and loves to fight. She, oh, boy, did you. Uh, this is funny lyrics. Oh, boy, did you. Uh, tried uh, to go to her parents we and then we cried. Um, ice, uh, snow and rain, or ice, rain and snow. She can't be alive. She's dead right Couldn't now, have. but she's still in mind. Who could have lived through that? Still a month over, and she's half alive. That means she's half dead too. <laughs> she'd have to be half dead if she was only half alive. So. Right. Uh, Just saying. It's a logical thing. We didn't notice, uh, but uh, then. We fried her. We Giblet. fried her. <laughs> Giblets are good, but not so not kind. Not so kind. But they huh. made the girl crazy go out of her mind. Made the girl crazy go out of her mind. And, and uh, and then bye bye bye. Not so kind. We will miss her, but that's all right. Mother do Joey not anymore. Franny died. Bye bye bye. Franny fried. Franny died. And then bye 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 is along with it. And that, it's a that's good song. A, it's pretty good. It's song. well written by them, uh, complex two gentlemen. They're, they're, they're um, good songwriters and. So we asked what's going on. With, entertainers uh, and singers. We asked what's going on with uh with Joey. Now, what are you doing besides the the BOA and stuff? And I I'm just I'm, I'm YouTubing a lot. Uh, oh yeah, we already. <laughs> in the winter time, I do I do a lot of snow tubing, and uh, oh. I do um. And in the, in the summer, I'll go on the boat and go water tubing. So I just do anything with tubes. I'm a, I'm in it. I'm on it. Anyway, so uh, I think we already <laughs> done the question. Uh, what are you planning to do? What is your future like? What is your like your entertainment stuff going on? Uh, what's what's going on there? You know, um, what's what's going on? With that? What's the question? What's what? What are you planning to do in the future? I, I really don't have any plans. I just pretty much uh, just ride it out and see my ass. And right. Whatever it will be, will be. Whatever you know, like, come, come what may, as the saying goes. You know. But uh, whatever will, whatever tastes right, tastes right. Right, but Sriracha I mean, sauce. What it? What? What are you trying? To, what are you going to do in the entertainment business? Like, what are you planning to do as your... Um, well, I will continue to do the interviews, and I will work closely with BOA, whatever they need. Right. I'm always... I'm always are, you, are you planning to do something with uh, maybe, like, TLC or something? Yeah. The girl maybe, group? Maybe. <laughs> the girl group with the nice I'm talking tubes? about this. I'm talking about the channel. Oh, TLC. I said that. The TV show channel? Yeah. If they do like, uh, some kind of uh, documentary, that would be fine with me. Yeah. Like uh, yeah, <laughs> like Animal Planet Discovery. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so uh, I could be I could play a porpoise, a platypus. What? Okay. What's what's going? Wait. Already. Uh, Parakeet, any pea animal, I will work with that. Right, right, right. but <laughs> what? What, what? I like my pea animal. <laughs> what? Wait, so what's going on with the whole complex two thing? Let's just get it under our belt. I don't what, know. What? It's a very yeah. complex thing. So I don't understand the whole thing. That's why they call themselves complex. Right, right. It's confusing. But I mean, like with the the Franny thing. So how? Listen. Did they come up to you? Did you come up to them? They what's, paid me for my story. They paid me for my story. Twenty five grand. Really? Yeah. I mean, their record sales skyrocketed after that song. Right. Their their singles and stuff. Their <laughs> I demos. got cheated out of it. I get no royalties. 
You got no royalty. Nothing. I get like two you cents. Got, yeah, Every time it's played on radio, got, I get two cents. It's a big deal. Right, but you got 25. Well, I get 25 grand, yeah. Yeah. That didn't even give me one implant. Yeah, but I mean, like. I guess there wasn't enough bone structure up in there to really, for the implant to take. But. To take root. They do say. Screw it in there. Like a corkscrew, like a. Opening up a wine bottle. Right, but they say. Yeah. They say that. Uh, Anchor that fired right up in the side there. Yeah, but they played a lot on the radio. That's that's not their. What are their hit songs? I like that new song that was just released, Sunshine Sally. That's a good. Oh, that's a catchy tune. Yeah. That's <laughs> you you want to sing it? Sunshine. Sunshine Sally. Makes me happy all the time, even in the rain, even when Franny dies. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, okay, so let's let's we're we're in there our uh, twenty uh, twenty. Uh, mark. So uh, do you enjoy their new album? I. Uh, I love it. The, oh, they're, they're, the, camp, the camp album. The camp album. Yeah. I. I Do you know the songs? Like, I like shit in the woods. That's a good song. Mm -hmm. It is. That's a. There's an instant classic. Uh, what else? Uh, like the Franny song. Franny died. It's a catchy tune, and it's. It just has a. Sunshine Sally. It has a. It has a feel good. It's got to have. It is a feel False good. advertisement. The Franny died is a feel good song. False advertisement. Yeah. False hard. advertising, BS or just Yeah, but they they uh, I know they they've been uh they've been coming out with new stuff and they want to produce that up. Uh, they they have their album so far, but it's not done com uh, like complete. I have I uh I have uh Italian Scorpions number, and he he's been telling me that he, uh. That he has different stuff that he wants to do. Uh, oh. he, he says he has a new album work. I thought I could share this with him. He's, he's like, yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. You know. Um, yeah, absolutely. I don't know why I did that. But, and then he's like, oh, yeah. Uh, whenever you're interviewing uh, Tommy. And then uh, he's like, yeah, because I know he's a big fan. We, we did the song for him. You know, we did all this stuff. Uh a, because he likes our music and stuff like that. And then, so, he, you know? Uh, right. I don't know, I agree. So he said, there's this one song that called We're Dumb, We're Pretty Dumb, But Not That Much. That's coming out. Oh, good. I, I believe he said there's a Time song. Soulless Woman. Yeah, he That's a song about I, that. I heard about it. Soulless you heard Woman. It. You heard of it. And I think it's believe it's about a bad relationship or marriage. And of course lots of people have them. You know, but soulless women I, I heard that they were is a description of I heard they were uh, saying that about uh, Exactly how evil Franny was. Franny be. was. I, I think they were they were planning it out of Franny. Oh, okay. That's I think that's what they might have been. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right about that. Uh, yeah, well, we we have the lyrics here, but we're not going to show them out there because somebody. Well, we're not legally. They're they allowed don't, to right, disclose. To, but we're allowed to say their their, the their album, titles. Once they were released. We're allowed to say the titles, and they they said that you know, uh, that we can sprinkle on the uh, the, the the camp album. It's like now that's a, that's a, that's a. How's it go? It goes, soulless woman makes me happy, or something. We're, we're oh, wait, no, I'm getting that confused, because a soulless woman can't make anybody happy. <laughs> <laughs> no, <and> so <laughs> That's we, much, I'm just kidding. I get confused a lot. Yeah, I'll see that. Full moon. Um, Full moon, very pretty. So, um... Red alert. Red we, alert. we have the different... Uh, um... Red alert. So, Red alert. Very pretty. I'm throwing a flag. Anyway, so... Uh... Could you hear me that? Anyway, so yeah, we're gonna... Um... Oh, 
Uh, we're gonna do stuff. Okay, so, uh, yeah. yeah. And, you know. Uh. Producers? Anyway, so. <laughs> Anyway, so <laughs> anyway, so um, I think we're gonna throw in the towel for this one. Good idea. Uh, but um, yeah, yeah. So uh, they're they're planning to do stuff anyway. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and support. We'll see you guys next time with maybe another interview, maybe another Tom thing. My Tom? No. I just thought I'd ask. Do you try to be polite? Bye.